hello. We summarize in this review the main contents of the VRIN or VRIO framework, developed from the research of Barney, published in Journal of Management in 1991. This framework focuses on the attributes of resources that allow firm generating its sustainable competitive advantage. Four attributes of such resources include value, rareness, imitability, and non-substitutability or so-called question of organization. In the VRIO framework, firm resources are defined as including all assets, capabilities, organizational processes, firm attributes, information, knowledge, etc., controlled by a firm, that enable the firm to conceive of and implement strategies, that improve its efficiency and effectiveness. In the language of traditional strategic analysis, firm resources are strengths that firms can use to conceive of and implement their strategies. Also, by definition, a firm is said to have a competitive advantage, when it is implementing a value-creating strategy, not simultaneously being implemented by any current or potential competitors. A firm is said to have a sustained competitive advantage, when it is implementing a value-creating strategy, not simultaneously being implemented by any current or potential competitors, and when these other firms are unable to duplicate the benefits of this strategy. As the arguments above, Barney state that, in order to have potential of sustained competitive advantages, a firm resource must have four attributes, that constitute the VRIN model. Firstly, it must be valuable. Resources are valuable, when they enable a firm to conceive of or implement strategies, that improve its efficiency and effectiveness. Firm attributes may have the other characteristics, that could qualify them as sources of competitive advantage, for example rareness, inimitability, non-substitutability, but these attributes only become resources, when they exploit opportunities or neutralize threats in a firm's environment. Secondly, resources must be rare among a firm's current and potential competition. A firm enjoys a competitive advantage, when it is implementing a value-creating strategy not simultaneously implemented by large numbers of other firms. If this particular bundle of firm resources is not rare, then large numbers of firms will be able to conceive of and implement the strategies in question, and these strategies will not be a source of competitive advantage, even though the resources in question may be valuable. So, the observation, that valuable and rare organizational resources can be a source of competitive advantage, is another way of describing first mover advantages accruing to firms with resource advantages. However, valuable and rare organizational resources can only be sources of sustainable competitive advantage, if firms that do not possess these resources cannot obtain them. So, thirdly, Firm resources must be imperfectly imitable for one or a combination of three reasons, the unique historical conditions, the causal ambiguity, and the social complexity. The historical conditions or path dependency mean that, the ability of a firm to acquire and exploit some resources depends upon their place in time and space, so in history passes. The causal ambiguity concerns the link between the resources possessed by a firm and a firm's sustainable competitive advantage, that is causally ambiguous. Also, the resource generating a firm's advantage is socially complex, beyond the ability of firms to systematically manage and influence, for example, the interpersonal relations among managers in a firm, a firm's culture, a firm's reputation among suppliers and customers. And, the last requirement for a firm resource to be a source of sustainable competitive advantage is that, there must be no strategically equivalent valuable resources, that are themselves either not rare or imitable. If it exists resources that can totally substitute the firm resources, that are sources of its competitive advantage, it means that these firm resources are not rare, and may be not valuable. So, they cannot be source of sustainable competitive advantage of the firm. Substitutability can take at least two forms. First, Though it may not be possible for a firm to imitate another firm's resources exactly, it may be able to substitute a similar resource that enables it to conceive of and implement the same strategies. Second, very different firm resources can also be strategic substitutes.
the VRIN model evolved then to VRIO framework by giving us a complete framework. The change of the last letter of the acronym refers to the so-called question of organization, which is the ability of the firm to exploit the resource or capability. In fact, the business must also be ready and able to utilize the resource to capitalize on its value. A resource that meets each of these four criteria can bring about competitive advantage to the business. The VRIO framework is particularly useful for assessing and analyzing a firm's internal resources and its potential for applying these resources to achieve competitive advantage. This framework, summarized in this figure, can be applied in analyzing the potential of a broad range of firm resources, to be sources of sustainable competitive advantage. Three brief examples of how this framework might be applied are presented below. Firstly, it seems reasonable to expect that the informal strategic planning systems, but not the formal ones, are likely by themselves to be a source of sustainable competitive advantage. Because the informal processes are often socially complex, and also likely to be imperfectly imitable. In contrast, any firm interested in engaging in formal planning can certainly learn how to do so, and thus formal planning seems likely to be highly imitable, so not likely to be a source of sustainable competitive advantage. Secondly, an information processing system, that is deeply embedded in a firm's informal and formal management decision-making process, may hold the potential of sustainable competitive advantage. This is also a socially complex system, and thus will probably be imperfectly imitable. So, an embedded information processing system may be a source of sustainable competitive advantage, even if a close substitute for such a processing system exists. Thirdly, positive reputations of firms among customers and suppliers have also been cited as sources of competitive advantage in the literature. In general, the development of a positive reputation usually depends upon specific, difficult to duplicate historical settings. In addition, positive firm reputations can be thought of as informal social relations between firms and key stakeholders. Such informal relations are likely to be socially complex, and thus imperfectly imitable. So, these make the positive reputations are likely to be a source of sustainable competitive advantage of the firm. Thanks for your views and subscription to HKT Consultant channel. See you in the next video.